Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. I, uh, my, we took our daughter, Jane, to go see it, and she loved it, and we loved so it. Glad. It's uh, It's exciting to be in Mary Poppins, right? It's, I mean... Uh, it's pretty thrilling. You probably got offered a million different things. When they offered you Mary Poppins, did you immediately know that you wanted to do it? Well, I immediately asked who's playing Mary Poppins. Right. And when Rob said, Our, your great friend Emily, I said, I'm in, because she's perfect. Right. Who would you have rejected? Like, if you... What names would you have said? <laughs> Everybody else. Everybody, Everybody else. else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you and Emily uh, play... You play a character that... Yeah, I play a character named Jack. He's a lamplighter, which mm -hmm. is a now extinct job, which was to light the lamps um, pre-electricity uh, every night in London. And keep them clean, yes, keep them and clean, do all yeah. that stuff that needs to be yeah. done with the lamps. Yeah, and sing and dance. And sing and dance. <laughs> and now, did you write any of the songs? No. You did not? No. Yeah. It did was... you want to write any of the songs? No. You didn't, yeah. yeah. No, I started writing musicals because... I wanted to be in musicals, and unless you dance well enough to play Bernardo, which I don't, that's uh -huh. it for Puerto Rican dudes in musical theater. <laughs> uh, so uh, I sort of started... So this feels like the fruits of a lot of hard work. To, yeah, like, it's get great. Get to play a part and not have to write your it. your first major motion picture starring role yeah, as well, it's a right? big old movie. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen it in a, a theater I with I saw it people? for the first time last week. You did? And? Yeah. I like it. You like it, yeah. Yes, I think you will like it, too. It was... I mean... It was such a joy to, like, we just knew we were making this happiness machine, like, that is just gonna make people really It happy. seems like it came, like Mary Poppins herself, at the exact right time. Yeah. Although yeah. any time during the last two years would have been a good time. Right. But it seems to have arrived at an ideal time. It's true. Time. We, we spent a year in London as Brexit was happening, as the election of 2016 and its aftermath was happening. We were making this joy machine. You're being honored by the Kennedy Center, a Kennedy Center <laughs> honor. That, that is a, not only is that a huge deal for a career, but you are, and you probably know this, the youngest person ever honored by the Kennedy Center. Yeah, that's crazy. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Who else is being honored with you? There's always a very select group. Yeah, well, me and my, my, my collaborators on Hamilton, Tommy and Andy and Alex, are all being... Uh, Honored with me, we're like the four little hobbits invited to the big sort of celebration. I see. And it's uh, and uh, Reed McIntyre, uh, Cher, um, wow, uh, Philip Glass, uh -huh. Ira Glass's composer. cousin. Oh, is that right? Is yeah. he, I, I didn't know Ira that. Ira Glass is like cousin. Oh gosh, we're learning so many things tonight. It's yeah. really amazing. <laughs> well, congratulations to you on that and on the movie and uh, on just your life in general <laughs> Thank and you also, me. most probably most significantly on getting out of camp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lin Manuel Miranda, everybody. Mary Poppins returns. December 19th, we'll be right back. I am Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button, so please click now. I'm hungry.